from Pintalk.net, and today I'm going to talk to you about adding conversion tracking to your website if you're using Pinterest for business. My name is Michelle and I run a digital agency. I wrote a book called Pinterest Tutorial and I do public speaking and workshops on how to use Pinterest and other social media for your business. So today we're gonna to do Pinterest conversion tracking and the four types of tracking that you can do if you are using Pinterest for business and promoted pins. So four types of conversions, a page visit, a sign up, a checkout if you have an e-commerce site, and then a custom conversion, which really, it can be anything you want. If you don't know what kind of conversion tracking you wanna do right now, just pick custom, because it's really all the same. So this type of conversion tracking is the same type that Facebook initiated with their tracking pixel. Twitter also has it, and now Pinterest following along with the trend, also Instagram because they're owned by Facebook, we all know that. So we can do conversion tracking on the major social media platforms. Pinterest, if you want to get in and follow along with this, log into your Pinterest account now, I'll give you a second, and go into where you manage your Pinterest ads or the upper left-hand corner of your desktop account. So log in, go and drop down the menu under ads and look at conversion tracking. Click there and you'll come into where you can create a tracking pixel. So choose the type of tracking pixel that you want to have. Page visit, sign up would be an email sign up and you should be collecting emails off of your website because that is the best converting way to uh, collect a user's information and then market to them. Check out, that's if you're running an e-commerce site online and you want to see that someone hit the checkout page or maybe the thank you page and that helps with remarketing people and we'll talk about that in future blog posts. Or access to custom conversion tracking in general means it's not something specific and we can tag that and see exactly where users are. So choose your type of conversion tracking that you want to add and then you can also set durations for the click and engagement or a view. Those all go from one to 60 days, and that's gonna take a little bit of fooling with to understand your customer's behavior and how long they, between visits to your website and what's a good time frame to market to them or remarket to them. For example, say you have somebody who comes to the checkout, but they, so they add a product to the checkout and then they don't purchase it. Maybe you let 48 hours go by and you send them an email or you pop up an ad to them and say, Hey, did you forget something? You've all probably seen those um, emails if you do a lot of online shopping like I do. So you choose your type of conversion, the type of engagement or click or view that you want to track the person for, select the duration, one to 60 days, and then just copy that code. And if you wanna take a look at it, you put it into a text editor just to see what it looks like. You can see that there is a default value of zero. So if you have something that you're selling on your website, say it's a t-shirt for $15, you could change that from zero to the 15 and the quantity is probably one. So leave that as the default of one. So change the value and quantity if you wish. If you're not actually transacting online, just leave that as it is. And then you take that code and you paste it onto your website in the source of your website and you do that before the closing body HTML tag. If you're running a WordPress site, this should be pretty straightforward. If not, you actually need FTP to your site or use some sort of editor and add that code onto the pages you wish to track. I recommend that you add it to all pages because it's better to have too much data and then filter it out later on to just the views that you want. So if it were me, I would pick the custom tracking code change the dollar amount for the sale, and then just stick it on all the pages and then you could filter user behavior later on down the road. So it's pretty straightforward, a couple clicks, you get your tracking code, put it up on your website, save it, and then you can go back into your uh, Pinterest ads manager and see your user behavior and use that to refine your promoted pins ad campaigns. Check back with me for more tutorials at pintalk.net and follow me on YouTube for more videos. Carry on, pinners.